is there? A traveler? Be warned, stranger. I have a crossbow and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, look at you. You poor thing. You're soaked to the bone. Shelter for the night. And you can pay? Oh, the next town isn't for another ten miles. Oh. All right. For ten copper, you can stay the night, and I'll get you something to eat. But give me your word that you mean no harm. Because if you try anything, I'll put a bolt through your neck. Understand me, darling? Good. Now come on in out of that storm. What's your name, little darling? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Morena Parber, but you can call me Mama Morena. Everyone does. Now put your weapons and muddy boots by the door. I don't want you tracking mud on my floor. I just cleaned today. <laughs> you get your boots off, and I'll get you a towel and find a change of clothes. Alrighty, here you go, darling. Let's get this around you. <laughs> oh my, I guess that towel is more for minotaurs than humans. It's as big as a blanket on you. But dry off as best you can, so you don't drip water everywhere. And I'll show you where you'll be sleeping. Hmm. Need some help getting the top of your hair? Nope. Alrighty then. Oh, bless. You look like a shivering stray puppy, wrapped in that huge towel, your messy hair everywhere. <laughs> you look like you're in desperate need of a little homey hospitality. And so long as you behave yourself, I'd be happy to oblige. Oh, you're most welcome, darling. Now, Follow me. This is my son's room. He's been away for a few weeks, so I'm sure he won't mind a fellow traveler borrowing his bed. I hope it's comfy enough. But from the looks of things, why Minotaur bed is big enough for four humans to sleep in. <laughs> Speaking of which... I'm starting to think this change of clothes might be a little too big on you, too. Let me just take a look if I've got something smaller. Just hold there a moment, little darling. Ah, there we go. Here's a cotton shirt and some pants from when he was a lad. So that should hopefully fit a little better. <laughs> oh, no worries at all. On that table is a wash basin and some clean water and soap, and there are some extra blankets in that trunk if you need them. I'll leave you be to finish drying off and get changed. And if you can just put that towel, your armor, and dirty clothes in that basket over there, I'll clean them for you. Hush now. Darling, I have two young'uns of my own who love swinging their swords around and come back from their adventures covered in mud, blood, slime, and God's knows what. So trust me, I know a thing or two about clean and armor. They're out wandering right now, my two little heroes off adventuring and seeing the sights of the world, but I always have their rooms ready for them if they decide to come home unexpectedly. Now, you settle in, and I'll find you something to eat. When you're ready, go down the hall and take a left to the lounge. I'll add another log to the fire. Good. I'll see you in a bit. Oh. <laughs> oh, little darling, I'm sorry that the clothes were still a bit too big. I can try to find something smaller if you like. You sure? Fine, fine. But what are you doing standing there? Sit down by the fire and get a blanket. 
I might have been a bit scary at the door, but you can never be too careful these days. Bandits know better than to cross paths with a minotaur, but some of the dumber ones have tried to mess with me. And no one messes with Mama Morena. But you followed my rules and respected my home. So as long as you behave, you make yourself at home. All right, little darling? Oh, you're most welcome. Here. I didn't have anything savory that I could heat up quickly. But I made a wonderful peach pie the other day, and I had some slices left. So, here you go. And I added an extra big dollop of oat milk cream and some honey in there, too. Now sit. Put your feet up and get nice and warm. I've got a slice of pie for myself, too. And I want to hear about your travels. Are you heading home, or just starting out? Coming back home from the Underdark? Oh, that's quite the journey. What were you doing down there? Getting magic components for a wizard. <gasps> Amazing. And it sounds like a dangerous journey, too. Glad you made it back in one piece. My kids, oh, their names are Rayon and Gilda, by the way. They went to the Underdark once a few years ago. They're mercenaries for hire, and they mostly help escort and trade in caravans through dangerous territory. Thankfully, the Underdark is the strangest place they've been to, so far. But it took me ages to get all that spider silk out of their chainmail, I swear. <laughs> hmm. Actually, they brought me back that pretty little thing on the mantelpiece. What is it? They said it was some kind of a crystallized mushroom they found outside a... Oh, what were they called? Oh, a myconid colony. That was it. So they brought it back as a souvenir from me. Isn't that sweet? Speaking of sweet, how are you enjoying the pie? Oh, good. And there's plenty more where that came from, little darling. So eat up. And let me know if you want some more. I've also got some tea brewing away, blended perfectly to help with any aches or pains. And I guarantee it'll help you get the best night's sleep of your life. Hmm? Oh yeah, all of those trinkets are from my little ones. They always send me letters when they go somewhere new, and usually send me sweets or a bottle of something exotic. And I know every parent says this about their kids, but they really are the best. And I'm just so glad that they're out there living their own lives and making the most of it. Out of curiosity, you wouldn't have happened to cross paths with them. Rayon is a few years older than Gilda, but both look a lot like me. Same kind of fur and all that. And they always stick together. A pair of Minotaur siblings is pretty hard to forget. <laughs> no? Well, that's all right. Last I heard, they were traveling with some traders through Zuthredown. And while I'm sure they're fine, I... I just get a little worried if I haven't heard from them in a while. Hmm. Mm. Have you finished your pie? Perfect. Let me take your plate and I'll get you a mug of that tea. Now don't you move an inch. I'll be back in a moment. And here we go, little darling. After a few sips of that, you'll be feeling right as rain. Though hopefully a lot less stormy than the tempest that's happening outside. <laughs> I know you adventurers are used to a tankard of ale or some wine when you visit a tavern, but you looked about ready to drop when you came to my door, so I thought you needed something sweet and warm rather than a strong drink. <laughs> And going by the smile on your face, I think I was right on the money. <sighs> Have you 
Have you got to rush off somewhere tomorrow morning? Or are you happy taking things a little slow? Oh, it's no worries at all, little darling. From what my little ones have told me, the Underdark isn't the kind of place that has feather pillows or warm blankets, so you get as much rest as you need, alright? Good. I usually get up at dawn to do some cooking, and I'll need to make sure that nothing was damaged in the storm, but I'll try to stay nice and quiet so I don't disturb you. Oh, darling, are you alright? You look all misty-eyed. Why am I doing all this for you? Oh, honey, I'm very much a believer in paying kindness forward. And when you came to my door, you were respectful, polite, and even offered to pay me. You can forget about the copper, by the way. You've already paid me back by just being some delightful company. No, 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 no. I insist. You've been an absolute treat. And I know that the road can be hard and difficult for many travelers like you. And if I can offer some simple kindness, like a gentle smile, a soft bed, and some warm food... To someone who's been going through a rough time? Well, that's my way of trying to make the world a better place. And I hope that if the opportunity presents itself for you to do the same to someone who's down on their luck, then I hope you take it and make their world just a little bit brighter. You'll do your best. Well, that's more than enough, little darling. I know we just met, but would you like a hug? You look like you could use one. Oh, of course. Come here, darling. <clears throat> oh, shh. shh. It's all right. It's all right. You've come a long way. And while I don't know your full story... I'm very proud of you. Not just for enduring all you've gone through, but for asking for help when you needed it. You could have pushed onwards to the next town and risked getting sick or hurt in that storm, but instead, you stopped at my door to ask for help. And look how that paid off. So don't forget to ask for help when you truly need it, okay? That's a good little darling. I know you haven't had much of your tea, but let's get you settled into bed, okay? Come on. Ah, thank you for putting your clothes in the basket. Let me just... <clears throat> get those? Oh no, darling, I got these. My little girl wears full plate. Trust me, this is not heavy at all. If you need anything... My bedroom is right down the hall, and it's the big door on the end. I'll be up for a while to clean your things and make sure everything's locked up. Your clothes should be all nice and dry for tomorrow, and will be hanging up by the fire. But, like I said, I'll be up early anyway. Now you, get in bed, close those eyes, and get some sleep. You're safe and sound with me, I promise. So rest up. And I'll see you in the morning. Hmm. Good night and sweet dreams, little darling. If you enjoyed this ASMR tale and want to become one of the incredibly kind souls featured here, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. To access my Discord server, attend my monthly live narrations, and enjoy other perks, click on the Patreon link below. You can also catch me live on Twitch every Friday and Sunday evening, so be sure to drop by sometime. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, and stay wicked and wonderful.